Hello, this is Cyrus from Super Nerd Network. We're going to go ahead and continue to uh, part 5 of our Slay the Spire play. So where we last left off, okay, so we had finished the boss, and I believe I grabbed this Velvet Choker. There we go there. And now we're on to Act 3, which is the final act. So, <clears throat> so same thing. I mean, we don't have a ton of gold, but I mean, we have enough that we could probably stop off at the shop. So I'll probably do that. Let's, I just want to kind of make sure that that's the route I want to go. Okay. Actually, I'll probably go this way, just so that way, I mean, I'll hit a, a shop, and then I can also get a mini boss on the way. So, let's do that. So then what I'll do here is I'll probably discard that, and this since I don't want that right away, I'll keep that. Alright, well I don't have any powers at the moment, so I'll just do this. run starting right now. I should be able to make it, I think, all the way to the boss and probably need it. But we'll see. I hope you guys are uh, liking this game. I think it's a lot of fun, and like I said, it's one that you can that you can really just like kind of I don't know play in between uh, like other things. So that's why I really like it. And uh, a lot of the times, like I don't know, because it saves your progress, you can get like a you know a couple floors completed, and you can go and do other things if that's what you want. So I really enjoy it. So Thorns is a similar ability that we've sort of seen before. Um, it wasn't quite called that whenever we saw it, but essentially whenever this is attacked, it deals five damage back, so. Do Amplify, because then it'll be played twice. We'll amplify that. And we'll Amplify this. Oh, and I can't attack. Oh, because I've already played six cards. Oh yeah, so that's another thing. Whenever you're copying the effects of cards, it does count towards the amount of cards played per turn. So that can kind of slow some things down. But I really don't see it slowing me down too much. So I'll play this twice. gain 11 shield which is nice so that means that this won't be yeah, doing this. this is gonna do a negative effect on me but we'll go ahead and lose an orb and hold my turn yeah so as you see like getting focus is really good because now my effectiveness is increased by eight and now instead of doing three it does 11 every turn so just like that don't really need that All right, so let's... And I really 
like this hand, so I'll keep it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna amplify so I can play this power card twice. And he does do quite a bit of damage, as you can see. Well, 18, so I think it might change. Let's read what it does. So, fading, he dies in four turns. He's aggressive. Oh, okay, that just shouldn't attacking. But upon losing HP, he loses that much strength until the end of the turn. Okay, so that's not too bad. And he's shackled, so at the end of its turn, it gains 12 strength. Okay. He's a pretty uh, tough guy, so I think, honestly, it's probably just more or less me trying to survive uh, four turns, so. If I wanted to play a card a bunch of times, what would it be? I mean, this one, technically, just in case I lose a bunch of HP, right? play this twice. And I think I want to play this twice. Just so I can gain more life. So I've already played six, but it would have been nice to play those loop cards, but that should be okay. I'm actually surviving it pretty well. I don't know if I'll be able to kill him though in time before he just dies. Because I think I noticed a bad thing with this deck is that I really don't generate enough lightning. Like I generate enough and I know like in the beginning I already knew that I had quite a heavy frost generation thing going. And now that I'm seeing it, it's uh... Yeah, it's not quite enough that I would want that I think I could have killed him. I think like let's add more, uh, more lightning generation just with out of the way things are kind of going, but we should be fine. shop has for us. Oh, oh. The heat sink, which is okay. Nothing that I really want. Let's see what we have here. Okay, enemies in elite combats have 25% less HP, which is pretty nice. And start each combat with one artifact that could remove a card. Um, I don't really want to do that. I have a pretty thinned out deck, so actually what I'll do here is I will just pick this up. I mean, it'll help if I go up against more elites, so... It can't be too bad. In which we already know that I was going down a path that did have one. So. Uh, it's going to be swinging for 15, so I will keep auto shields. Uh, I do like this hand action quite a bit. <coughs> Let's play this, we'll see what power I get. Uh, nothing too crazy, so. I should have did. This one, we should be okay. Ultimately, we are going to negate its first attack because of the uh, the power card that I got. And now that goes away. So. We'll get two tokens. Put a loop out there. Oh, if we look here. 
He has malleable, so upon receiving attack damage, it gains three block. Okay. So, uh, like I said, we do have a really good run actually going here, so we're going to go ahead and just gain a ton of warp slots here. And if I was going to play a power twice, I'd probably do this. Well, that's not good. He is going to kind of trade my, my shield. Well, we are getting 14 at the end of combat, so hopefully if that's the only time that it does damage to me, it shouldn't be too bad. But let's see what I let's see if I can get some more stuff going on here. Okay, two more focus. I'm up to four. And then we will block some. So one thing I could start doing, if I was lucky enough to do it, is if I was getting more things that generated lightning, what I could do is start swapping out my cards that generate frost, so that way I'm kind of outputting more damage, but I still want to keep a good balance. I don't know if I'm going to get to achieve something quite like that, but it would be nice. So we'll generate more lightning. And honestly, I don't think it works. Oh, wow, I generated a 76 shield. And after this, I believe it was the uh, mini boss. Okay, this is actually another good power, so that one does generate lightning if I do take on block damage. This is a mini boss. That does start off with 25% less HP, which is really nice. So I will put that. Okay, and I just got the same card back. Got a wound, which is unplayable. And this one will probably do the same thing. I imagine I'm gonna be okay. I imagine I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage here. Is how I see this going. So I'll do this. Now, I do really want that to focus, but honestly... I mean, I could, uh, I'll probably apply three weak here, just so I'm not taking as much damage. And yeah, I guess I just try to gain some block here in the meantime. It's not... Ooh, this is gonna be a ton of damage. I mean, that was bad, but it wasn't as bad as it could have been, so. All right. So now, if I found a way to increase my focus, that would be nice, but. Do we just gain a level block? 
and we'll channel the frost. Yeah, so I am still gonna take some damage. This might actually do it. Yep. Start each combat with one strength, not bad. A uh, fear potion. And I'm uh, not doing that good. So they're doing a total of 20 damage here. That's not good for me, so actually I'll probably get rid of Echo Form right now, and then I'll hope I draw a cheaper power. I didn't get a power, but I can do here. Okay, I'm just seeing what potions I have. I'll still be taking some damage out. Only eight though, so that's not act that's not too bad. So I can play a power card twice. It will probably be blue. Be able to play both these cards. I'll do that. And this isn't looking super good for me. We didn't kill one, and I know this one won't be able to kill me outright. So I look at that as a semi-win here. Uh, I'm a hope that I draw, yeah. I really wanted to be able to play this card twice. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, so. We'll at least play it once. He's gonna be dealing 17. Okay, now he's not gonna be doing anything. <laughs> so we'll play loop again. And we'll just get another ball lightning up there. On my turn. Took quite a bit of damage that combat. Let's hope we'll be able to heal. Uh, Leap is a good card, but I don't quite need it. So. Oh, and we're going to be fighting another mini boss. Now yeah, we got a minute before we can heal, so let's hope that we can get some work done. All right, so we know that we want to go block heavy. Well, I'll keep that. I'll come from that. What I'll do is I'll auto shields. I'll channel two frost. But my math is right. Okay, I will be able to play both these. This isn't the card I want to see right away, but honestly, it is one that's going to help me out quite a bit right now. So, I'll take it. Like I said, uh, that it can take me to negative focus. So, if I don't, if I don't defeat these guys quick, I am gonna be in for a very bad combat. So. I do want to kind of be able to play this twice, but we'll do this. There we go. So I should be generating enough shield at this point. I feel pretty comfortable. I just need to get some damage done. Now it does help that I do have that artifact that does three damage to all of them every turn. So that is doing tons of work for me, thankfully. But I do want to play this twice because I do need to heal. Never mind. I thought that I had played the uh, one card that lets me play everything twice. I did not. 
Uh, these are gonna explode this turn, dealing 30 damage. That's not good. So we're gonna be doing 60. Okay, well, that doesn't matter so much now, because now they're just gonna die. Let's see if I can just get some damage going here. I'm gonna be honest, I was a little worried that combat that that might have been the one, you know? Uh, what I'll do is I'll just discard this. I want the dexterity potion just in case, you never know if I'm gonna need to really depend. Strike dummy. Cards containing strike deal three additional damage. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any. Okay. Uh, this mini boss I have fought before. He's uh, an interesting one, but. I would rather be going up against him. So, oh, we'll discard that. I'm not going to need that right now. And I'll keep this. So, if I'm going to play something twice, odds are it'll be this. So. I'll gain six orbs. This will be really nice. Oh, I so badly want to play this, but I also want to play this card. We should be okay. It will come later on. So. I'll just take the uh, the extra card advantage, which will be nice. Okay, he's going to be dealing 13 damage. And I know that I'm playing a card twice, so I'll play this one twice because I still need to gain more uh, HP. Gain 11 block. He will be dealing a little bit of damage to me. I will play this one twice. And I kind of want to play this one twice as well. And now we got a pretty good balance of shield and uh, lightning going. I could play this twice, which won't be too bad. I'll gain a lot of focus off of it. I'll play loop twice. And then I will do this one. If I'm going to play something twice here, or last time I played this card twice, and, well, I quickly realized that that was a bad idea, so I'll play this one twice. We will play this one twice. Generated 93 shield. I could play this twice. And we will play this one twice.
And then I should actually defeat him at the beginning of my turn since I'm looping my uh, lightning four times. So. Look at that, and we're gonna get our 14 health. This, so at the start of each combat, channel one dark. Dark is nice because channeling it puts it into your uh, first empty slot. And if you have no empty orbs, your first orb is all automatically evoked to make room. And then, uh, oh, that's for channel, my bad. So dark orbs increase damage every turn. And when they're evoked, they deal that damage to the enemy uh, with the least HP. So that can be nice. I could get a consume plus, which actually be pretty nice. And then I could get rid of my other consume at some point. Uh, so I'll probably do that. It's not a bad trade. If I had to lose one, it will probably be Cold Snap. Do I fight the mini boss or a question mark? Well, I know I'm probably going to be hitting up this mini boss, so I'll do the question mark. Hopefully, something good. Oh, I'll find some potions. Gain three thorns, never too bad. I'll take that over strength since I don't have a ton of actual actual cards with the label attack. Three vulnerables, nice. Um, yeah, that should be fine. And we will upgrade. Amplify would be a nice one upgrade, although we could have two consume pluses, which would be nice. But I'm not so worried about that. I think we are going to upgrade. It only channels one lightning. We could do this one. The next two power cards I play or play twice, although that will eat quite a bit of my turns limit of six. If I am limited there. I could gain ten block from this and channel two frost. I could just have this loop uh, an additional time, which would be also nice. That might be what I do as well. Or I could do this just so I gain more HP, which I will actually do. But I sold myself on it as I was saying it. I'll fight this mini boss. Alright. We'll do this because then I'll just lose one orb. I might want to generate some frost. I'll do that. I'll generate some frost because I remember I'm going to need a bit more uh, shield this combat. So we'll do that. Yeah, because I do want to amplify this to gain even more HP, so yeah, I like that. So I think I want to amplify Static Discharge again. I'll probably do that. Do what I get. Get Machine Learning. That can be good. Do we do Loop Plus? Or Echo Form? The Echo Form does come in clutch, so I'll do that. Like this one is fun. So whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card. So if I want to play something twice, I'll probably do this. I want to have quite a bit of focus going here. And I. Uh oh, I am going to be taking a bit of damage. Okay, well. Might as well play this twice then. Okay. We'll be taking 30.
Pocket Watch. Whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards at the start of your next turn. Okay, not bad. The strength Potion, don't really need that. And I don't really need that. Go here and we'll heal. And now we're on to the boss. Alright, we don't need this one quite right now. I do like having this, so I will more likely keep these. Because it'll give me a pretty good balance here. Like that. 50 fragment. And then I think I generate frost for it. Actually, let's read his abilities real quick. So he has regenerate, he'll heal 10 HP at the end of his turn. Whenever I play a power card, it gains one strength. That's not going to be good for me. <laughs> and they're unawakened, so they haven't awakened yet. All right. So we might as well do some damage into the rest of the list. Three vulnerable. That guy. We'll gain two dexterity. We'll just go ahead and go through them all. So. So my first card is going to be played twice. So I'll remember that. If I wanted something played twice. Do this one. Well, I took a lot more damage than I would have wanted, but he's going to be doing quite a bit of damage to me, so I'll play this twice. I will generate quite a bit of frost here. And honestly, I think I'm just gaining as much frost as I can at the moment. Play this twice, I gain quite a bit of block. And now I can generate more. Although we'll just produce more focus. We'll upgrade the damage that these do. And I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I should just uh, beat up when I have my turn here. This isn't good. I thought he would be just dead. Huh. Well. How am I going to do this? So, I think I play this twice. I will gain I played two cards, so I'll play this because I don't want to lose these. And I will lose the lightning at the end there, just so that I can gain more focus. <clears throat> I'll 
speak too soon because I I don't know if he has anything crazy after this but I think I have this so conquers my focus more because I want to make sure that I do oh, I forgot that play twice well nonetheless I should still be fine I'm still gaining more shield then he's doing damage, unless he has some, like, just straight up kill move or something crazy. Well, if these evoke, they do 24. Okay, so I'll play this twice, and I should get them to where those get evoked. There we go, man. He almost had me there. And now. We're at the heart. It's 799 damage, the heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. My mightiest attacks are not enough. Have I been here before? And I felt that I did a total of uh, 3,359 damage to the heart. The heart pulses louder as my consciousness fades. And that's it. <laughs> and this is where it's uh, roguelike. So what happens is it'll tell me everything that I've accomplished here. And then I proceed. And that's it. And then, of course, you can just kind of keep going and going. Uh, through the dungeons as you please and uh, more than likely in my next video we'll try someone else out uh, that I'll show off and just so that way you guys can see you know the other characters that there are because we still have a few more of course and we'll probably do the same way where I'll just draft the deck because I feel like that will kind of show you everyone the the cards a little bit more just because I mean I don't stay at shops too long, or at least long enough for you to read everything, so <clears throat> that's what I'll do. But yeah, it's a it can be a pretty short game. I mean, most runs probably take about an hour, uh, maybe hour and a half at most. You can get some quick runs in depending on like the deck, but really, honestly, an hour is probably the sit down time for like start to finish to get through this. So. Yeah, in the game I did check, I think it was 24 bucks when I had last checked. I believe I got it on sale, and as Steam does, Steam has sales all the time for these games. But I hope that uh, I hope that you enjoyed at least the uh, defect. Like I so said, the defect's my favorite. Unfortunately, I'm not the he's my favorite, but I'm really not the best with him, unless I get like you know there. I got lucky with some of the cards that I got drafted. I could have did maybe a little more if I got some lightning you know, generation going. And some other combats would have been easier had I got the power that lets like any time that when my lightning, you know, hits its passive or it's evoked, it hits everyone. That would have been a good card that just would have, you know, it really would have sealed the deal on a lot of those combats. I might not have taken as much damage. It was really nice that I got the, the one card that lets me heal at the end of combat and I was able to like play it twice as many times as I did. So that really helped getting uh, all that health regen. Honestly, probably part of the reason why I was able to make it to the end. Um, I mean, I could have played more cautiously and I might have been fine and I might have tried hugging, you know, you might have saw me upgrade less cards at campfires. So that's kind of how you have to do it. You have to see, you got to take with what you're given. And at first you will more than likely be playing it straight through like I was doing and and it is a bit of like a, it can be a bit of a slow roll. I think, I don't know, it didn't take me too long. I think I beat the game with everyone in about a day. So, you know, I really enjoy this game. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of roguelikes and this one kind of fits that bill. And I'm a, like I've said in my other videos, I'm a big fan of deck building games. I, I come from like a background of Magic the Gathering and also playing like tabletop games like Thunderstone or Dominion, uh, 
the DC Universe card game. There's some other deck builders that I'm, a, I'm big fans of. And so, and especially I, I play Magic the most and I do a lot of, and I've done like a lot of drafts and stuff. So it's very kind of similar, the whole, you know, getting synergies going in your decks. Uh, I, I'm just a big fan of that. But uh, altogether, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, fortunately, uh, that just brings us all the way to the beginning. So it looks like you can scroll through this. Uh, I wish I would have uh, known that. Could have maybe did it a little bit faster while I was talking, but yep, that's the end. And also, thank you for watching. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the game, and I hope you enjoyed this video.